Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. Today's video is a very short video, but also a very insightful and interesting one. So, if you guys haven't heard of the so-called AM dip, it's when the AMD CPU stutters or just has terrible 1% lows, and as a result, it gets this beautiful nickname of the AM dip within Warzone or other competitive games. Well, I'm here to dismiss that belief. As you can see, I've been walking around here for about two minutes, specifically to get an accurate 1% low representation and accurate frame rate of how my 4090, 7950X3D and DDR5 6000 MHz RAM perform. As you can see, it might have a 100 FPS difference between averages and 1% lows, but the frame graph is extremely smooth. Not only that, it is perfectly plateaued and smooth, showing that the game is not actually stuttering in any way, shape or form, and if you were to play, it would be a totally enjoyable experience with no so-called AM dip. Now, this entire myth came along from the completely unoptimized 7950X3Ds that are out there, that you just plug and play and they don't work properly. I understand the issue there. People don't know how to set it up more often than not, and end up getting really poor results as a result. I am unironically running from a guess and from a guy with really terrible aim as we're talking. But what I do want to say is that this PC performs incredibly within Warzone. And what more proof do you want than the top left of this screen? So I've been running around on different parts of the map and this is the averages I've come across over two minutes of testing. So if you get performance near to this on your 13900K, please contact me because I would love to do a comparison to see which CPU is truly the better choice for Warzone. I've seen many myths out there saying that the 7950X3D is terrible and it's a complete scam. And that is not true. Top left corner proves my point perfectly. Now yes, the ratio in averages for the 3900K, the averages to 1% lows, is better. I understand. But the average frame rates of the 7950X3D are nothing to scuff upon and just ignore. The 1% lows aren't terrible by any means, they're just not as good as the Intel's ratio of 1% to averages. So, no, the 7950X3D does not have the AM dip if you set it up properly. Just as I mentioned, I set it up to prefer cache and BIOS, I tuned the RAM, I undervolted it. It's as simple as that. You and your grandma can unironically do this if you follow my simple guide on YouTube. So you don't have to worry about being too difficult, unlike Intel that requires years of experience, loads of testing and a huge pain in the ass in the BIOS screen to get running at its maximum performance. Anyway guys, thank you for watching today's short video and I hope this cleared up the whole AM dip situation. With that said, have a good one, enjoy, and peace.